Hey guys, what's up? Mike Heard 360. Uh, saw a post on Facebook this morning that got my curiosity up because I hadn't done this in a while. And I wanted to compare the two voltage batteries to something I hadn't done at the same time and, uh, and just see what the power consumption was on a cellular camera. This happens to be the Spartan Go Cam. Um, and then uh, versus the 6 volt step down versus a, a, well, excuse me, a 12 volt with a step down to 6 volts. Or a regular six volt battery um, this obviously is a six volt camera because it's a Spartan regular Spartan go cam <clears throat> I've got the camera set to 30 second time lapse so it takes a picture large thumbnail every 30 seconds sends it and uh, that's kind of gives me a more consistent uh, outcome here with the video but I wanted to show you what I found it was kind of interesting um, I'll tell you up front what I saw uh, the 12 volt 12.63 .63 volts out of that seal lead assem. That's pretty standard, 12.8, maybe up to 13 on full charge. This one's been charged, but it's been on the shelf a week or two. Um, and then uh, Dakota Lithium, uh, it was reading 10.33 volts. Um, and then the uh, PowerSonic 6 volt seal lead acid, it was reading 6.48 volts. Uh, so, these are my favorite seal lead acid batteries. They've just been the best for me. Um, obviously, the Dakota Lithium is going to be your, your uh, best option in that size, which um, I also sell Amped Outdoors Lithium batteries, um, and they have various sizes all the way up to, to 100 amp hours. Um, they have a 30, uh, an 18, but anyway, for practical purposes, we don't need all that. We're just, uh, just trying to see the difference. So what I saw, and, and I kind of figured it would be this way, the amp draw, the power consumption, the amp draw, going to the voltage regulator uh, from the 12.63 volts from the silicon acid battery was a little bit more than what I was seeing on the Dakota Lithium because it has a higher voltage. So it's going to be a little more efficient. Um, and then the... Uh, this had the highest amp draw of all of them because it was uh, we were measuring coming from 6.48 volts rather than stepping down from a 12.63. So gives you a lot of options. 12 volt batteries are more readily available. And uh, my biggest thing was back when I was uh, searching for a voltage regulator, a quality one, I, all of them that I, I found had uh, some sort of amp draw. Um, they were using some power by themselves. Um, this was the one I used was the lowest that I found and it was also heavy duty and could handle the heat that that comes from stepping down um, but uh, anyway it does add to some of it so you take your camera and what it does add and then you add some with that so anyway uh, I'm going to use up a ton of video but let's go ahead and, and watch what this camera does now the camera's already on so you see the green light right there. So it's activating. Uh, it's going to connect to its network. That 0.01, that's what I'm seeing with the voltage regulator just by itself. Uh, even when the camera's in neutral. So <clears throat> I don't really know what all's going on. Whether the camera's uh, actually taking a picture. Just sending, trying to send a status report. Uh, but everything the camera sends and transmits, is, it's a radio, right? So it's a radio transmitter for those of y'all that were in the CVs and ham radios. It's going to use some power. Uh, that's why your cell phone uses so much power. All right, so now that's what, 0 0.20. That's the highest I think I've seen on that lithium, maybe 0.22 earlier. It, it varies. It, you know, every network's different. This is a Verizon camera. 4G LTE, uh, but every network too is also uh, different. So they have different speeds. You get in some areas and the network has got a really fast speed. The camera can send the pictures faster. It's going to use less battery. Uh, you got to understand that that whole time that camera is trying to send a, a picture or a data file, it is going to be using power. We'll wait for this thing to go back down to 0.01. Hopefully it will. What I saw was here at my house uh, in my shop is about 30, 35 seconds from the time the picture 
by the time we start seeing this go up, all right, so it's back down to neutral. That's just the voltage regulator. Took another picture. It's, now it's doing whatever it does to connect to the network, and then we'll try to send a picture. You'll see it go all the way up to a higher number, and I'm sure that's the the, tr the final transmission where the, where the radio inside the camera is actually using the most power. Well, what I was saying, I, about 30, 35 seconds from the time it starts all of that to the time my phone app receives the picture. So it went up what, 0.19 was the highest we saw there. It should be on its way back down. I don't know what all it does when it's closing down or shutting off. Boom. And then it'll take another one here in just a second. Anyway, yep, there it goes. I don't wanna. When it goes back to 0 0.01 again, now I'll go ahead and take it off. What the heck? All right. So let's hook it up to this battery. It's gonna be a long video, I got a feeling. Especially doing all this by using one hand and holding this camera. All right. So now it's gonna do its thing. Okay, looks like it's back to neutral. Boom, I think it just took a picture. Or it's just sending, it may just be sending that status report. I think when the camera first initializes it, it it does send a status report. Again, these are, this is a six volt camera. These are 12 volt batteries, but there's a voltage regulator there that's stepping it down. Don't try this at home with just a 12 volt battery to your GoCam. You will have to send it back to Spartan and pay to have it replaced. Back to neutral, and we'll watch it one more time. All right, took a picture. Connecting to the network, doing whatever it does. That's all using battery. So 0.19 was the highest we saw earlier on the same battery. I saw as high as 0 0.4, 0 0.23. 0 0.23 was the was the was the uh, max that I saw consistently. But I did see at one time it went to 0 0.4. I don't know what happened or why, if it was trying to resend. Um, the camera can't send, it'll try a few times before it finally gives up. So it's back to neutral now. We'll go ahead and take it off. And now I'm gonna hook up a six volt. So this is just a six volt battery. Let's see how good I am. All right, so let's see. Put that up there. Put that up there. Now the camera's initializing. And what you'll notice is when the camera is is idle, it's back to zero. There's no consumption, so it. It either is taking a picture or it's trying to send a status report right now. That's that first initialization when it connected to the server.
but you can see already on a six volt battery it's using more amps it takes more power to run it at six volts than it does at 12. So what that tells me is it's going to take a larger 6 volt battery than it does 12 volt battery to do the same thing. Now depending on your step down, like mine's not, a, my voltage regulators are constant, uh, constant 6 volt output or wherever I set it. 28, so 29, 30 something, well, blink too quick, couldn't see what it was. But, um, ooh, 44. So it went up to 44, 0.44 amps. Um, I saw 0 0.50 earlier today, messing around with this. But the time frames from the time it, it started using power back to zero all ran about 45 seconds, 48, 50 seconds. I guess all that just depends on how well it's able to send that picture to the server. And then it'll take another picture here and shortly because it's on time lapse mode. We can watch it again. Point four, point one six. Three seven three eight. So it didn't use quite as much that time, um, but that's the same thing I saw earlier. Sometimes it was point four zero, point three nine, point four four, point five zero on the six volt battery. And then on the 212s, uh, this at 12.63, we were a little bit higher on power consumption than on the uh, Dakota Lithium at 13.33. But, uh, and it was all, it, you know, it bounced up and down, but it was all down around 0 0.20, 0 0.22 was the peak that I saw. So that's kind of good, good news, you know, guys that want to use a 12 volt battery. Um, the Spartan camera box, they designed it because too many people were hooking up 12 volt batteries to these cameras and frying them. So their cameras, their box is a six volt constant output and it's the most efficient battery or regulator step down that I've seen. Um, it's a constant six volt. So you can run a six volt battery or a 12 volt. And um, it, when it goes back to neutral, it's 0 0.00. And I remember I had some that were 0.03 uh, some of them that were like preset from the factory, they were, I, I can't remember what they were, what the brand they were called, it was on a little metal box, and it was a 6 volt output, step down, but it, uh, it's 0 0.03, point, 0 0.04, um, I ordered another one just to play around with it and, and maybe um, add to this video, but, uh, oh, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it, I hope I wasn't too boring, kind of um, interesting stuff to see that camera as it's transmitting and what it's doing voltage wise and current wise so uh all right guys well thanks for watching herd 360 uh this is mike and y'all have a good day